some of our best moments during our trip to Thailand last year happened over the course of three nights during two of Thailand's biggest festivals, Loi Krotong and Ipeng. Celebrated in the month of November each year, these two festivals are spectacular in every sense of the word. Loi Krotong, which translates to to float a boat or a basket, is the festival during which people gather around lakes, rivers or canals to float a decorated basket made of banana leaves resembling a lotus flower or a small boat. Yi Peng, also known as the Festival of Lights, is the one during which hundreds of paper lanterns are released into the night sky. A great spot to get your first impression of the festivals would be at the Far Gate. As you walk down the street towards the Ping River, you might want to stop at Wat Bufara. The murals on the four walls inside the main temple are simply dazzling to look at. Lokraton is actually a festival in which people show respect to the water goddess and Buddha. It also symbolizes letting go of your negative emotions and marking a new beginning. I enjoy simply staying by the riverside, watching the fireworks from afar. Another interesting spot was from the top of Navarat Bridge. On the second night of these festivals, more and more people got involved in making croissants. The crowds grew larger and the streets were now ready to welcome the smaller Kraton Parade. The three main events during these celebrations are floating of Kratons, these parades and the sky lanterns. Taking part in the parades themselves was an incredibly fascinating experience. As compared to the first day, the riverside was now packed with tourists. The huge crowds gave the night an international vibe, while Thai locals were only found in small numbers, selling kratongs or assisting tourists. We also floated an adorable kratong ourselves. Some people also like to put pieces of their personal items like a piece of cloth, a coin or even a strand of hair as part 
of the local belief. It is also kind of interesting to note that kratongs are mostly made from biodegradable materials. The food market, located just before the river, is a lively place offering a variety of intriguing food options. I particularly enjoyed the steamed meatballs they had. Pork, beef, chicken and fish, they had them all. Then came the third and final day of the festival with the highlight being the Grand Kratong Parade. Now that was a truly unique temple, as it is completely made out of silver. As daylight fades, you will finally encounter the city of Chiang Mai in its most vibrant state yet. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
et jusqu'au diable de la lame. Qui est la foi de Dieu la lame. Following the parade's trails, the final moments of the festival offer one more delightful experience, the paper lanterns. However, I was told that selling them during the festival was not permitted due to the potential fire hazard to public property. Nevertheless, you can still find these lanterns being sold secretly. The best location to launch a lantern is at the government designated open grounds, which often requires an entrance fee. People were still doing it at the riverside. I guess it was okay there. Though not as grand as it is in the open grounds, the moment is still immensely enjoyable. Surrounded by the cheerful crowd, everyone attempting to ignite their lanterns just right and watching them gracefully ascend into the sky. It was a moment of letting go.